Welcome to Electron Line. Here's our next example of how to find the limit of a function. Notice in this case, we want to find the limit of the function as x approaches 0. Let's go ahead and plug in 0 and see what happens. That's always a good start. So this would be equal to the limit. Oh, no, actually, what we should do is simply plug in the value for, for x. So let's say that this is equal to the square root of 0 squared plus 4 minus 2 all divided by 0 squared which is equal to, well, that would be the square root of 2, which is 2 minus 2 divided by 0, which is 0 over 0, which is, of course, not defined. So again, at first sight, it appears that this particular function, we cannot find the limit of that as x approaches 0. However, what if we set up a table of values? So let's plug in some values for x and see what the corresponding values are of the actual function and start out with a number, let's say x equals 1, and slowly we're going to let the number, uh, the value for x go approach 0 to see what the value for the function becomes. Well, if x is equal to 1, we have 1 squared plus 4, that would be the square root of 5, minus 2 divided by 1 squared. So let's go ahead and do that. So that would be, take the square root of 5, minus 2, and divide by 1 equals, and so we get 0 point. 2, 3, 6. All right, now let's x equals 0 0.5. So when x becomes 0 0.5, we plug in 0 0.5 there. So we get 0 0.5 squared plus 4. Take the square root of that. Subtract 2 and then divide by 0 0.5 squared. Divide by 0 0.5, <coughs> excuse me, squared equals, so now we get 0 0.246. All right, what happens now when we let x equals 0 0.1? So now we have 0 0.1 squared plus 4. Take the square root, subtract 2, and divide by 0 0.1 squared equals, and now we get the value 0 0.2498. It's beginning to look like the function approaches 0 0.25 as x approaches 0. If that's the case, of course, there would be a limit. Now let's let x become 0 0.01 and see what happens. So that becomes 0 0.01 squared plus 4. Take the square root, subtract 2 from that, and divide by 0 0.01 squared, and I get 0 0.249998. Well, this is almost 2 point up not 2.5, but 0 0.25. So my assumption now is, as x becomes 0, the, func the, the function then becomes 0 0.25. So using the technique where we directly plug in the limit value into the function, we get an undetermined or non-defined expression, 0 divided by 0. But if I follow this technique where I plug in values for x and allow x to get closer, closer, closer to 0 in the limit, we can see that the function then becomes 0.25. So the limit of the function as x goes to 0, or as x approaches 0, the function is 0.25. And that's how we do that in this particular fashion.